I'd like to just ask you about the comments that you made about well, the comparison that you made between Catalonia and Scotland, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, talking about uh, the solution apparently that the Spanish state had for what you called divisive, divisive national, nationalism. Mm -hmm. Um, in Scotland. Now, to be quite honest with you, I found these comments really offensive mm -hmm. um, from the perspective that the Spanish state has used political violence, it has used political trials, and political leaders from Catalonia are now in exile Absolutely. because of the actions of the Spanish state. So why did you feel that that was an appropriate statement to make. So the short answer is that I didn't, and I didn't say that the Spanish state uh, had taken the right approach to Catalonia. The 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 Spanish state that you're talking about is a right-wing Spanish government that's used violence against its own people and ought to be and has been rightly condemned for doing so. What I actually said w before it was picked up and willfully distorted by the Scottish National Party was that... Um, in Scotland, we have not understood how to deal with populist nationalism. And that is a very particular issue that has arisen in Scotland that Labour, UK Labour in particular, has really struggled to understand and to deal with. And rather than turn inwards amongst ourselves and continue to argue about, uh, argue about factions, about resources, about leaders, we need to start looking outwards to the rest of the world, where in places like Quebec, um, at brief moments, there has been some success from socialists at advancing the cause of social justice justice and uh, defeating the cause of nationalism and separatism. Now, when I reference Catalonia, I reference the peaceful struggle that the Spanish socialists had waged in Catalonia in order to advance the cause of social justice and to resist the idea of nationalism as the answer to the problems that people face there. Of course I wasn't talking about using violence. Of course I wasn't endorsing the actions of the Spanish government. It is absolutely ridiculous to suggest that a Labour MP would do that. And one of the things that happened very, very quickly is that the Scottish National Party decided to seize on this in order to willfully distort those comments. And it is something that we've seen them do over and over again, is to exploit the politics of grievance in order to maintain the focus on the independence question. So you're saying, Gary... And prevent us from, from finding any way as a country to pull together and move forwards. So, I mean, you haven't used such bold terms, but you're telling Gary he's been conned by the SNP. Absolutely, yeah, oh, absolutely. Right. You are using yeah. such bold yeah. terms. That's exact, <laughs> that is exactly what happened. <clears throat> Gary, tell me and how if you... And if you look at the words that I used, because these were comments that I made on the Andrew Neil programme, yes. it's there. It's there in black and white. It's there for everybody to see. And they were picked up and willfully distorted in order, I think, to, to, um, to continue to maintain the focus on the independence question. I think that is honestly because the SNP don't want to talk about some of the problems that they're creating in Scotland. Um, Gary, Gary, were you expecting such a comprehensive answer? Um, it was probably the answer that I did expect, to be quite honest with you. So, so you, but, I mean, so you knew that these... There's a points these, that you, I wholeheartedly disagree with. Yes, but I mean, let's just focus on what's been said uh, in that yeah. interview, the bit that you're picking up on. Where did you get the sure. idea that Lisa Nandy was endorsing violence against protesters? I think any comparison to uh, Catalonia is very, very dangerous. What you've I'm gonna, I'm just, we are short of time. I'm just going to insist that you answer the question. Where, where sure. did you get the idea that she'd endorsed violence? Because I, 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 I don't follow Scottish politics as sure. closely as you do, sure. and, and I, I can't see where anyone would have got that idea from it unless sure. they were being spoon-fed okay. it by the SNP. Okay, so Spain currently has a socialist government that has been in place since 2018, June 2018, I think it was, it was elected. Since that point, there has been a number of political trials. Um, there okay, just final time, where did you where did you get the trial. idea that she was endorsing violence against protesters? So, listen, I never I said that. Okay, okay? good. Okay. What is the, I mean, the, the referendum took place in Catalonia in 2017 before the current socialist government came to power in Spain. Okay. Um, however, 
that Spanish socialist government has continued the, per- the political persecution. I know, but Ga- Gary, yeah. but Gary, I was talking about the Spanish socialists in Catalonia and who are actually on course to do well in the forthcoming elections okay. because they've managed to peacefully advance the cause of social justice. And that, you know, I was absolutely clear in what I said on the Andrew Neil show. And I, I completely understand that these issues are incredibly sensitive, but that's why I was very careful about the language that I used. Mm. But I'm we not do, careful we enough. Do. Lisa rewrites history live on LBC says Angus um, this is just nonsense you said these things own them well I did I'm sorry but I, you know I would own them mm. if I had said this them is why but I didn't. this is why you're not on social media anymore Ang- 